Shalom 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 Well, I woke up this morning and I was collaborating with E.T. and the Nazi collaboration that we got going on here, which isn't my fault, because I can't pick who hacks my mind. And that's the government's fault for allowing whatever it is to hack my mind and not to, well, it was the government that hacked my mind uh, because I pointed out that the flu shot had mercury in it and all that. So they hacked me with Nazi technology. So uh, <coughs> the collaboration that I've got going on this morning, Shalom Hala, Shalom Ha, <laughs> with E.T., who's not actually a Nazi. Uh, now, there, is, I don't know. You know, who knows, right? I, I'm telling you, there's some Nazi shit going on here. and I, That's really unwelcomed because I'm not a Nazi. But uh, like I said, uh, you can't help it that your mind's hacked by a Nazi government. <laughs> so, so that's their fault for hacking me. But the uh, moral to the story this morning in my collaboration, whether it's a Nazi or not, is uh, President Trump has a play in front of him right now that could just absolutely mind fuck everybody in the media. It will, it will warp their gourd so extremely amazing, it, it, it'll just be unbelievable. And then at the same time, it'll excite his base to the extent that they'll be like, kick him in the nuts! <laughs> Trump! Oh, oh, yeah! Kick him in the nuts! <laughs> right? So you can destroy the Democrats and the media's mind because they have a play, right? This is throwing a monkey wrench into their engine that they've already set up. Ruth Bader's been dead for a month, right? They just now released that information. She's been dead. They wanted to push it as far as, as close to the election as possible, right? And then you got all these Democrats all of a sudden like, we got to get her, we got to pass. That means they have an agenda, Agenda 21. They're about to pass a bunch of bills that they had on the plate, right? And now they're down a SCOTUS, and they're going to do that for Agenda 21, and everybody in Washington's in on this, right? And Trump stands into the way of these bills that are ready to go, that the Republicans and the Democrats have agreed they're going to pass this shit all together in unison and in harmony. And they may even change amendments to the Constitution, and they've been working on this in secret for a long time because they're all frauds. This two-party system's a fallacy, and you all fucking fall for it. But you got Trump standing in the way of an entire governmental shift where they're going to take us out of a democracy and into a technocracy right at the last minute leading up to Agenda 21, which is what all of this is. So what I would do if I was the President Trump, of course, President Trump's just another blackmailed CIA slave, so he's not going to do this unless he just grew a pair recently because, see, I got more blackmail on everybody now than they have on him, and I have their entire blackmail uh uh, scrolls exactly what they have on President Trump and proves <laughs> you can go all the way back to the beginning and prove that they blackmailed President Trump into being the president to start out with and it was the CIA and the, the Mockingbird media right who blackmailed him because I had to go through the same thing it's a parallel reconstruction of it. I was married to a Soviet woman from Latvia before President Trump got elected. Okay, that's the technocracy that we live in in my life is a parallel reconstruction to the exact same scenario of President Trump. It's all the same. It's just different. I lived down on the bio minding my own business and he lived in Trump Tower minding his own business. And they got a sex tape with Roger Stone and yada, yada, yada. You got all of that, right? So what President Trump could do, you remember Sheriff Arpaio from Arizona? The guy that, uh, <laughs> he was the guy that was real and strict on uh, immigration and he was just arresting people and putting them in tent cities and stuff. And he, he was like, I'm not releasing them to the streets. And he, he, he made a big stink in the media and the media was like, fuck this guy, fuck this guy, right? Well, what President Trump could do is nominate Sheriff Arpaio as the new SCOTUS and, I mean, this is like a curveball mixed with a slider mixed with a knuckleball. Like, nobody would see this coming. It would completely mindfuck them out of that. Whatever they got planned isn't going to happen if he does this. Because, A, you got COVID going on. So what's about to happen? COVID stories are about to be replaced with SCOTUS nomination stories, right? Leading up to the next election. So this is going to create a big political buzz that's going to pull the uh, the... 
And, and, and this may be what they want because Bill, if you have looked at Bill Gates' Twitter account, he's getting annihilated because nobody's buying this COVID shit, okay? So what do they want to do right now knowing that? Well, they want to take the attention away from COVID and put it on something totally different, right? It wouldn't surprise me if they whacked fucking Ruth, okay, to, to make sure that this happens right before the next election. I guarantee you they did. They got technology that makes that possible. Unless you have other technology in you that counters the technology they try to whack you with after they use you to set up Dan Patrick like I do myself, which is exactly what they did to me, and I was minding my own fucking business down on the bio, and now I'm busting their balls. President Trump listens to me, believe it or not. So what I would do if I was the president who has balls now because he's already uh, in, it just completely just devastated their blackmail scheme that they had on him like I have by proving that they mind controlled him with the MK Ultra program in order to have sex with Roger Stone so he wasn't even home he was just an avatar so that they could take him and use him to devastate the, the conservative base and all the Republicans who are supposedly Republicans they're not they're all NWO fucking idiots just like George W. Bush was, right? Just like George H. Bush was, who talked about the NWO. They're all fucking frauds. They're all in on it, all of them. And they've got packets of bills this thick, ready to be pushed in, changing amendments right at Agenda 21. And President Trump st stands in the way of that because he was an outsider who was blackmailed into coming in there. But then all of a sudden, now President Trump has the gusto, right? Because now he has more blackmail on them than they have on him. What would I do if I was President Trump right now? Sheriff Arpaio, just to fucking just devastate their mind for right leading up to the election. And while you devastate their mind, you just punch them in the nuts with the fucking conservative base. Kick them in the nuts. Kick them in the nuts. Right? Because when you, when you nominate... Sheriff Arpaio and bring him into the mix and you say, I want you to be a SCOTUS, all, everybody in President Trump's base is going to be like, yeah, oh, they're going to go oil their guns and shit and fucking go out back and blast some in the air, right? Well, what's that going to do at the same time? It's going to devastate the mentality of everybody in the left. It's going to mind fuck them so bad they're going to go absolutely berserk. The media all of them are just going to go fucking nuts leading up to the next election where Tulsi Gabbard comes out of nowhere and just plows it into everybody's ass because she has all the blackmail now. <laughs> That's what I'd do. Oh, by the way, Trump's not going to do that because he's a total fucking fraud. <laughs> So I just thought, you know, that's what I like to do is put these plays out there that are undeniably home runs if you actually believe, like, like all of these people that believe that Trump is what he says he is, they probably think that's the best idea ever right there, right? Because it is. It's unbelievable, right? I mean, if you're, if you're political, politically savvy and you're thinking about this right now and you're conservative, you're like, you know what, that would really just devastate everyone except Trump, right? who's supposedly the outsider, who's supposedly the guy who's not involved in the NWO, who's, he's not, he, he is involved in the NWO, he, he's, they, 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 he's a puppet just like the rest of them, and that's why he's not going to use that play. Just another example of how he's a fraud. <laughs>